My name's David, I'm here to show you products in Descara Books. Let's first click on products. Inside here, you're taken to the product page, where you can see the product summary. I can see the number of tracked products, non-tracked, bill of materials, and items with no stock. If I look down here, I can see the number, product name, category, available stock, and the status, whether it's active or inactive. And I can set it as inactive or active here. I can click on the three dots, and I can edit, copy, and delete. If I want to filter, I can click on filters, and then I can filter by status, all status, active only, inactive only, or categories, all product, non-tracked only, tracked only, and bill of materials, and then I can apply. Let's go and click new product. Inside here, we can see the general info, accounting, and inventory. We can also add an image. You can see the different types of products. We have non-tracked, tracked, and bill of materials. Non-tracked, you can consider it like service products, such as aircon repair, gardening, and even auditing of a company. We also have track products, which we'll track the inventory of, and we have bill of materials, so you can think of it like a computer, where you have to assemble the different parts in order to have this product. Let's start with non-tracked. Next, we have the product number. You can input it manually, or you can select our default number range. We also have custom number formats here. So if I want to type in, for example, the prefix, separator, number of digits, separator, and put in the suffix, and then I can set its default and I can save it. And you can see our number here. You can also go here, and if there's any custom fields, you can add the edit information here. Now we can put in a name, for example, gardening. You can put in your barcode, and then you can put in your description. Next, we go to accounts. Inside here, you put in your purchase account your purchase price, and this price will be reflected in your purchase order and in your bill. But of course, at the time of creating the transactions, you can always change this amount. Purchase tax, and is price is tax inclusive. We also have the sales account, sales price, which will appear once you create a quotation or a invoice. But again, you can change at the time of transaction. Sales tax, and is price is tax inclusive. Next, we have inventory, so you can see the unit of measurement. For example, hours. Now, if we change this from non-tracked to tracked, you'll see here in accounting that nothing has changed. All the information is the same. But under inventory, you'll be able to see the cost of goods sold, inventory account, and stock adjustment account. The reason for this is that we are perpetual. We are not periodic. So a journal entry will be posted at the time we receive goods or the time the goods go out. We also have opening balance, so I can put in the opening quantity and the opening valuation. Please take note, the opening valuation is the sum of the opening quantity. So that means, for example, if these 10 kgs is equal to $1,000, I can also select my primary warehouse. Next, let's go to bill of materials. So you can think of it like a computer. So if you click on accounting, you'll notice that um, the purchase price has disappeared. The reason for this is that it'll be calculated based upon your bill of materials. If you click on inventory, you'll see that you'll have to select a manufacturing count for the assembly. And under bill of materials, this is where you can add your components, such as, for example, your monitor, your mouse, your keyboard. And under here, we have additional costs. So we can add, for example, assembly and put in the amount here. And then I can save and the product will be created. If you do not want to create each product manually, we do have an import function here. If you click on import, you can download the sample file, fill in the information and upload it. When it comes to mapping, it'll auto map and then you just confirm the data and it'll import. If you wish to see more products in the page, you just go down here, row per page, and I just clicking on 50 to see all of them. And I'm clicking on computer set. So now I'm viewing my product. Inside here, I can see general information. I can see the accounting details, inventory details, and bill of material details. And that's a quick look at products in Descara Books.